Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Has anybody rejoiced today? Come on, let's give God some praise. Come on, let's give God some glory. Come on, let's give God some honor right now in this moment as we begin our midweek worship experience. I am so glad that you have logged on tonight, that you have given up some of your time to experience a moment with God. And I pray that you open up your mind right now, open up your heart, open up your spirit to receive exactly what the Lord has for us tonight. There is a word, hallelujah. There is a song, there, there's some scripture, there's prayer, there's everything that we need to give us that midweek recharge that we need. So go ahead and share this broadcast with somebody. Go ahead and press the share button. Let somebody know we're about to worship God, that we're about to go higher in him. Hallelujah. We're about to lift up his name in praise. We're about to pray. We're about to go to the throne room. So go ahead right now and share, share, share this broadcast with somebody and let them know that the presence of the Lord is about to be wherever you are. Hallelujah. Because Bible said where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And I believe there's freedom coming to your house right now. Wherever you are, freedom is coming to you. Why? Because you're about to stir up the gift. Hallelujah. You're about to stir up the spirit of God wherever you are, where his presence is. Glory to God. He will show up. <clears throat> so come on, let's give God praise right now. Hallelujah. Come on, give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's pull on him tonight. Hallelujah. God, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Oh, we bless you and we praise you. Oh, we magnify you and we give you glory. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, for who you are. We thank you, Jesus, for being mighty. We thank you, Jesus, for being strong. We thank you, Jesus, for being powerful. Oh, hallelujah. Come on and thank him for whatever he is in your life. Come on, thank him for whatever you need right now. Come on and thank him for what he's already done. Come on and thank him for what he's doing right now. Come on and thank him for what he's about to do. Come on, great things are coming to your life. Come on, let your praise release what God is about to do in your life. Come on, give him glory. Hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. Kind Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you tonight to give you glory. We've come to you tonight to bless your name, God. We've come tonight to sit at your feet, to open up our ears, to open up our hearts, to receive what you have for us tonight. So right now, God, we say thank you. Right now, God, we say hallelujah. Right now, God, we say glory to your name, God. Oh, we can't live without you. We can't move without you. We can't breathe without you. You are everything, and we give you glory tonight. So right now, Father, have your way in this place. Whatever the people need, God, we say, Lord, do it right now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that your presence fills whatever place that they are. God, open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that we don't have a room enough to receive. Oh God, we thank you tonight. Oh God, we glorify you tonight. Oh God, we magnify you tonight. We thank you for Jesus and we thank you for the blood of Jesus. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. God, we thank you for the blood that washes and cleanses us and perfects us by the power of the Holy Ghost. And so right now, God, wash up all of our sins. We confess them to you now because we need you to cleanse us of all unrighteousness, God. We thank you, God, that you are giving us a second chance to get it right, God, so there's anything that's not like you, snatch it out of us, God, right now, and let us know what it is so we won't get it back. We'll give the devil back his mess, and we'll pick up the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. So we thank God tonight. We thank you tonight, God. Thank you for family, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for relationships, God. Thank you for friendships, God. Thank you for the church, God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, thank you for Cedar Creek Community Church. Continue to bless us. Continue to grow us. Continue to be right where, continue to have us right where we need to be, God. Take us higher in you, God. Take us higher in you, God. Take us higher in you, God. Glory, we thank you and we give you glory. God, we give you honor and we give you praise for truly you are good. And your mercy endures forever. 
Oh, give thanks unto your name, God. Hallelujah. You are a good God. And we praise you tonight. So again, we say, have your way, God. Move by your power and your spirit. God, you know what we need. So supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory that are in Christ Jesus. Oh, God, somebody needs to be healed of cancer. Somebody needs to be healed of leukemia. Somebody needs to be healed of sickle cell. Somebody needs to be healed of diabetes and high blood pressure, God. Somebody has somebody has lupus, God. Somebody's dealing with the cancer of the brain right now. But, God, in the name of Jesus, oh, God, we pull down your healing power. We pull down your healing virtue. Oh, you said by your stripes we are healed. And I, God, I thank you that everybody's watching that will grab one of the stripes that Jesus took and say, I am healed in Jesus' name. Heal us, Lord. <laughs> Deliver us, Lord. Set us free right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for moving in right now. Oh, God. Oh, as we come up on the day of Pentecost on Sunday, we thank you for coming like a mighty Russian wind. We thank you for coming in like a mighty Russian wind. Oh, God, we feel your presence. Oh, God, we feel the second wind. Hallelujah. We feel a fresh wind of your power, a fresh wind of your glory, a fresh wind of the anointing. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the body of Jesus. We thank you for him rising. And we thank you for the spirit that came, God, and now we have power. Power to live right, power to walk right, power to talk right, power to stay right. And we thank you for the power. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> glory, glory, glory. We thank you, Jesus. I did about sin. We thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, we thank you. Do it, Lord, right now, whatever it is. Do it, Lord, right now, whatever it is. <laughs> Do it, Lord, right now. I dare those of you watching, call out what you need. Call out your desire. Call out your requests. Do it, Lord. Do it for them right now. Do it for every woman. Do it for every man. Do it for every family. Do it for every child. Do it for this church. Do it for all the nations. Do it, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We believe it. Yes, Lord. We believe it. It is so. It is well. It's already done in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi, yellow side. It is so, it is well. It is already done. And we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray tonight. Hallelujah. Let everybody say amen. Come on, amen. Come on and give God praise. If you know how to do the clap emoji, come on, put the clap emojis on the screen. Come on, come on, put the hands up emoji on the screen. Come on, give God glory right now, wherever you are. Come on and give him glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We serve an incredible God. And an incredible God, he deserves an incredible praise. Come on and worship him with me. I said an incredible God, he deserves an incredible praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Incredible God. He deserves an incredible, incredible God. He deserves incredible praise. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's incredible and we bless his name. Hallelujah. He's mighty and we bless his name. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've had some problems, some great and some small. You being God, deliver me from them all. Still can't believe. Hey, yes, that incredible. He deserves. Oh, Lord, he deserves incredible praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give me glory. Come on. Help me say, said I bad. Some great you've been God. Delivered me. Still can't believe. Although of the ways you made. Said incredible. He deserves. Oh. Oh, what kind of God would do this for 
incredible God. He deserves. What kind of God? Anybody know a God like that? Victory. He is so simply. Oh, he is so incredible. Said incredible God. Somebody shout, oh, 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 come on. Hallelujah. Say it again, say it oh, oh, I got a oh, God. I got a oh, with my spirit. Oh, 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 oh. He said, praise. Incredible. Praise. Incredible. Oh, pray, he deserves incredible, oh, 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 praise, incredible, God, we give you praise, because you're incredible, oh, pray, said he deserves incredible, oh, Somebody shall pray. Incredible. Somebody shall praise. My God's incredible. Oh, praise. Hey, I got to give him praise. He deserves. Hey. Oh, said hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Lord, we bless you. He's incredible. Shout hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Lord, we love you. Lord, we bless you. He is incredible. Come on, give him glory. Somebody shout Lord. Lord, we bless you. He's incredible. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Lord, we bless you. Hey, He's incredible. Shout hallelujah. Yes, he's a healer. Anybody know, Lord? He's incredible. Say, so he's a healer. Oh, he's a keeper. Say, Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. He's incredible. My God's incredible. What a mighty God we serve. What a powerful God we serve. He's mighty. He's strong. Yeah. He's awesome. Yes. Said he's incredible. An incredible God deserves incredible praise. Praise. Oh, praise. He deserves, oh Lord, you deserve incredible praise. He deserves incredible praise. Somebody give him praise. Come on, wherever you are right now, come on and give God praise. Come on and give him glory. He deserves it, he deserves it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. An incredible God. He deserves that incredible praise. Come on and give him praise right now. Hallelujah. Come on, church, and give him praise right now. Hallelujah. Come on, church, and give God praise right now. Hallelujah. We've been talking about praise. We've been, we took a few breaks with some of the different events we had at the church, but we are still talking about praise. Glory to God. We are still in this book, and I hope to be finished with it in the next couple of weeks. And so we're still in the book, Rediscovering Kingdom Worship by Bishop Miles Monroe. Rediscovering Kingdom Worship, the purpose and power of praise and worship. And I, and, I, and I believe that God is taking us to a different place. But the, 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 the thing is, in order to go there, 
you have to be willing to go. God wants to take us higher. God wants our praise to be bigger. God wants our worship to be stronger. But in order for us to get to that place, we have to want to go. So my, 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 my question is, Cedar Creek, my question is for those who are watching, do you want to go? Do you want to go where God is trying to take us? What Do, do you want to go in the presence of God? Do you want to be in the holies of holies? Do you want to be at the mercy seat of God? Do you want to be where he is? Because I want to be where he is. And as your pastor, I don't want to go and have to leave you behind. So I want you to go with me. I don't want you to, to have to catch up. Let's go together. So tonight, and I know I don't have as many as I want watching and everybody don't get on, but I pray that those you are watching, you grab a hold of, uh, of, of my heart. You grab a hold of what God wants for Cedar Creek. He wants us to go higher. I know everybody got their idea of what he th think that supposed to be going on and all that stuff. But I'm here to tell you, I listen to God. He's the only one I answer to. And I promise you, he wants us to go higher. He wants us to not be used to church as it was before. And we're not going back to the way it was before the pandemic because God he gave us a break for a reason. He, he, he put a pause in it for a reason for us to get ourselves together, us to to realize what's truly worth it, as us to truly realize what it's all about, what we're really supposed to be doing, what church is all about. It's not about my idea. It's not about my attitude. It's not about what I want to happen. It's about God. So our praise should be about God too. Our worship should be about God too. So let's get our mind focused on him. Let's get our mind focused on what God wants for us as a church, what God wants for us as a people. He's trying to take us there. Do you want to go tonight? Do you want to go see the creek? Do you want to go higher? Do you want to be where God is? I'm not talking about dying and go to heaven because we can experience heaven on earth because where the spirit of the Lord is, we don't have to die in order to, in, in, to experience God. Glory to God. We can experience him right now. He's waiting for us to come where he is. So we've got to get there and we can get there through our praise and our worship. So I pray that you have been receiving from these teachings and, and going back, and if you don't watch them when it first come on, that you will watch it at a later date, and, and, and really take it to heart what we need to do. What we need to do. So we are chapter 9. Uh, chapter 9, and the chapter 9 talks about the progression of praise. The progression of praise. I'm going to read a little bit from the text, and then I'll begin to teach. It says, praise takes you up the hill of the Lord. Praise takes you up to the hill of the Lord. Hold on, let me find this scripture. Who shall ascend? Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Glory to God. That's Psalms 24, chapter 3 and 4. So that, that, that's our, um, excuse me, Psalms 24, verses 3 and 4. Psalms 24, chapter, excuse me, I keep saying chapter. <laughs> Psalms 24, verse 3 and 4. It says, who shall ascend into or unto the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, no sworn deceitfully. So if we want to go higher, if we want to go deeper, if we want to be where God is, we got to have clean hands and a pure heart. That, that, that's the first requirement. That, that's the first thing that we need to do. Clean your hands and purify your heart. The things you do, the things you say, how you treat people, clean your hands and purify your heart. Those thoughts that you had, the, 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 the coming to, to church to be angry, coming to church to start confusion, clean hands and a pure heart. Coming on your job, starting up mess. Or coming to coming home to start foolishness. Coming to family events to start foolishness when you're supposed to be a representative of God. Clean hands and a pure heart. Lying, backbiting, trying to pull your brother or sister in Christ down. Clean hands and a pure heart. That's what God is looking for. Who shall ascend? If you want to go, this is what you got to do. And praise helps us get to that point. Praise helps us get to where we need to be. Glory to God. And the book says, um, as a boy tending his father's sheep, David spent many hours playing his harp and singing to the Lord. 
This evidently put a love in his heart for both God and for music. The book of Psalms, the longest book in the Bible, one of my favorite books of the Bible, records many of these songs and prayers that poured from David's heart. Excuse me. David's ability to praise God is no doubt the primary reason Israel enjoyed a prosperity and a security during his years as king that were unequal throughout the rest of Israel's history. David knew how to get close to God, and God's presence made a great difference in David's life. God also makes a difference for us when, when he is near. Sadly, his manifest presence is often absent from our churches. We come to beautiful structures, uh huh, but we see no power because the Spirit of God is not active among us. I know we've got a nice building and we've got some land that we've acquired and we want to eventually build on that land and, and, and grow this place that we call Cedar Creek, but we don't want to have a nice structure that's empty of the Spirit of God. We don't want to have, whenever we get back in here, we don't want to have the, the, the renovations, the, the, the updates that we've had, the upgrades that we've done. We don't want everything to be looking good, but God's spirit is not in here. I will not allow that as your pastor. Glory to God. It starts at the head. I, so I'm bringing it with me. So you, I need you to get on board. Help your, help your boy out. Help your pastor out. As we lift up the name of Jesus Christ, he let him fill every seat as I'm in here record, as I'm in here right now. Let him fill every seat with praise. Let him fill every seat with worship because we don't want to have a building without God. We don't want to have a place, a beautiful structure, and the presence of God is not in there. We need God in this house. Hallelujah. Even your own personal house. You don't want to have this big, beautiful five, four, six bedroom house and 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 and, and then living in a gated neighborhood driving these nice cars, but God ain't nowhere in that. That if, that if God is not there, you have no peace, you have no joy, you have no hope, you know, have no understanding. I'd rather live in a shack full of the presence of God than a mansion empty of his presence any day. Give me Jesus. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want his presence. I want his joy. I want his love. I want his hope. I need God in and wherever I am. So we come to these beautiful structures, but we see no power because the spirit of God is not active among us. This is due in large part because we do not know how to attract him. We don't know how to build a throne where God can sit in the midst of his people. Oh, yeah. We may sing, dance, clap, and go through the rest of the forms of emotion that characterize praise, yet we never experience the awesome reality of seeing, God, seeing God's presence manifest among his people. I want him to be here. I just don't want us to be acting church. I don't want us to be playing church. I want to experience God. If we don't experience God when we come here, we might as well stay home. So when we come into his presence, when we come together as a church, I want it to be a God experience every time because we need God. Glory to God. It says, why is this? Is God reluctant to come to us? Could he who created man so he would have a family prefer to be apart from his children? Of course not. The reason for God's absence is certainly not a matter of disinterest on his part. God is concerned. God is interested in us. But disinterest on our part is much more likely possibility or at least interest that is limited or short-lived because we do not understand what he wants in our praise. Praise that reaches God takes us beyond the confinement of routines. Yes, yeah, we, we, we used to do it this way, but we, we got to get beyond that. Yet it actually flow, follows a pattern or, or progression, if you will. This pattern is seen in seven Hebrew words. I'm going to do some teaching tonight. There's going to be some words that you might not have heard before. You might not understand, but there's some Hebrew words about praise that tells us how it describes praise. It says these seven are certainly not the only words used to command and exemplify praise, but they reveal the essence of what God attracting praise entails. The first of these dimensions or portraits or scenes we call is toda. So it's going to be seven words and I'm going to deal with these and we're going to, and I'm going to let you go. We're, I'm not going to keep you long. We're going to deal with these words and, 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 and pray and, and then we're going to go. So the first one is toda. Everybody say it with me. Toda. Toda. Toda, the first dimension of praise, it occurs in the Old Testament 30 times. It is probably the most challenging of the dimensions of, because it is totally an act of will. That means you got to do it. You got to want to do it. Literally meaning extension of the hand, an extension of the hand. Toda 
is a noun form based on the primitive root yada, which is the next um, progression that we're going to talk talk about. In modern Hebrew, toda is preserved as a regular word for thanks. So extending of the hand is telling people thanks. So that, that kind of confuses us because if I'm extending my hand, most of the time we think that I'm getting something. I'm extending my hand to get something. But but pray, praise is teaching us to when we extend our hand, we're extending our hand in thanks of what we've already gotten from God. Thanksgiving and giving thanks. Hallelujah. Um, Psalms 116 and 17. If you got your Bibles, I hope you got your Bibles, or you got your, if you're watching this on um, your phone, you might need to get your paper Bible so you can look up some of these scriptures. Amen. It says, I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will sacrifice a thank offering. So sacrifice meaning you putting something on the altar. And so Back in the Old Testament time, I've taught on this before. The Old Testament, in the way that they showed appreciation, or the way they showed honor, or the way they tried to recompense themselves from sins or atone from sins, would be putting a sacrificial offering, some type of animal or something, on the altar and burning it up. That was the way of their sacrifice. But they always, and also offerings, they also gave offerings of different um, things that they had, um, not always money, sometimes crops and different things as sacrificial offerings, thank offerings to God. So so we, now, not necessarily that I'm saying that we, you, when you, every time you give God praise, you have to give him money. That's not the offering that I'm talking about. Offering means giving something, giving, offering up. So are you, you're sacrificially giving of yourself, offering up your praise to God. You're giving him thanks because this is one that, this is, this is why it starts it off because you have to want to praise God. Toda is pushing you. It's, it's, it's you willing yourself, thanking God to, 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 to let him know that you truly appreciate him. You, you want to tell him thank you. You got manners. Yeah, 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 yeah. You looking for a reason to tell God thank you because you want to show him appreciation. It's in you. Gratefulness. Great, yeah, that, that's the glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Gratefulness is your attitude. You have an attitude of gratitude. So that's, that's what Toda is. You're extending your hands, God. Not to say, Lord, I want more, but God, I thank you for what I already have. God, I, I, I'm giving you praise. Yes, I I, instead of reaching for a handout, God, I'm, I'm handing you my praise. I'm handing you my thanksgiving. I'm handing you my gratitude to show you, God, it, God I, 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 here, I, here it is, God. Here's my praise. Here's my worship, God. I'm, I'm extending my hand. Here we go, God. Take everything I got. Hallelujah. My worship, my praise is an appreciation of all that you have done. And it's not that I'm giving it all away because I know because of the God that I serve that when I release my praise, when I release my thanks, it's only making room for him to give it back to me. Glory to God. You got to realize that praise helps you get stuff. Hallelujah. It's not that you're doing it to get stuff, but you're doing it because you, God, you, you, you're appreciative, but it helps that God he acknowledges your appreciation. He acknowledges your gratefulness. He acknowledges your thankfulness. And he said, oh, I can bless this child again. I can do for her again. I can do for him again because they are thankful to me. Let's look at Amos um, chapter 4. Amos chapter 4. You know, a lot of times when we look for praise verses, we go to Psalms. But it, 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 there's some other praise verses throughout. All right, Amos chapter 4. It says, burn leaven bread. And this is kind of like the opposite. shows the opposite of how we told our, and we, 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 we do what we're, the opposite of what God wants. It says, burn Amos chapter 4. Four, verse 5. It said, burn leaven bread as a thank offering and brag about your free will offerings. Boast about them, you Israelites, for this is what you love to do, declares the sovereign Lord. So don't do it so you can brag about it. You saw my praise or you saw how I praised God. You saw what I gave to God. You saw what I did for church. Quit doing stuff so somebody can pat you on the back. Quit doing something to get shiny. Quit getting mad because nobody don't call your name to do stuff. As long as God calls your name, you should be all right. If God told you to do it, do it. 
Don't be doing stuff just because you want to. This is about God. We are in a new season. We are in a new, not just a season because this is an era. This is a new era, a new dimension where we got to stop doing stuff because we want to do it and do it because God told us to do it. Because every time we do what he says, it will be successful. That's why we keep failing. That's why we keep falling. That's why we keep getting upset. That's why we keep getting mad because stuff's not going our way because God didn't tell you to do it anyway. So if you stop and realize what you're supposed to be doing and do what God tells you to do, then stuff will start happening for you. Uh-huh. I think it's a little bit easy, but hey, I'm just trying to help you. I'm here to help you. Hallelujah. I'm here to help you. So, but instead of bragging about what you did for God, we sh I told our, well, we should be bragging about what God did for us. Glory to God. Because when we brag about God, when we boast about him, glory to God, we are uh, letting the world know the God we serve. We are letting the world know just how good God is. Glory to God. But this is a choice that we have to make. Glory to God. This is a choice that we have to make in order to please God. You got you to gotta make sure that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. You got to make sure that you are making yourself. You are willing yourself. God gives us free will. Sometimes I'm like, Lord, why we get free will? Because some of us take that free will and we run with it. We, we, really, we really get free in the wrong way. You're free to do anything you want to do with no conviction because of your free will. But I thank God for the Holy Ghost that will pull us back in. So if you don't have it, you know you out here doing stuff that you ain't got no business doing, you ain't get, get convicted, you better pray for the Holy Ghost. And I pray for the Holy Ghost to take over you right now that will convict you and pull you back in just before you go too far. Psalms 50 and 14. Psalm 50 and 14 says, Sacrifice thank offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High. Fulfill your vows. It's a requirement. Fulfill your vows. You know, vows that you, when your people get married, you make vows that you're supposed to, you're supposed to follow those vows. That people say the marriage vows, but we got vows to God. And so to sacrifice and our thank offering, giving God praise, that's fulfilling our vows to God. That's a part of our agreement with God. That's a part of our relationship, our covenant with God. He does all of this stuff for us, but the only thing he asks for is praise. My God. I, I, I just, I, 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 it, it's just a wonderful agreement that we're in. It's a wonderful covenant that we have for God. Everything he does for us, all he asks for is praise. All he asks for us to pray. All he asks for us to spend some time with him. And he gives us all of these blessings. It's time for us to extend our hand back to God and give him something. Can we give God something tonight? Hallelujah. Can we give God something tonight? Come on, let's take a minute and let's give God something. Give him your hallelujah. Come on, wherever you are, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, just thank him right now. Come on, give him something right now. Give God something. You know, he, you know he's blessed you. He's been better than good to you. Come on and give God something right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, God, we give it to you. Come on, church, let's give him something. Come on, come on. Come on, give him your praise tonight. Give him your praise. Told I, told I'm extending my hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm giving it back to you, God. Glory to God. The book says, Thus, Toda is a result of a conscious choice that takes us beyond our feelings and preferences. It causes us to praise God no matter what is going on in our life. No matter how uncomfortable we are with the forms of praise the Holy Spirit leads us into. No matter what is going on in your life, you still got to make the choice to praise God. I, I, I choose praise today, hallelujah. I choose worship today. I choose thankfulness. I, I could choose a whole lot of stuff, but I woke up this morning and I chose praise. Under the bus see. Glory, 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 glory. I chose praise today. Praise is my choice. Worship is my choice. Thanksgiving is my choice. Gratefulness is my choice. Glory to God. What did you choose this morning? Don't choose to be angry. Don't choose to be sad. Don't choose to be miserable. Don't choose to be grumpy. Don't choose to be a complainer. Choose praise. Hallelujah. Instead of complaining, start giving God the glory. What's your choice? Make a choice today to bless his name. Right. Ooh, glory to God. Glory to God. Bishop Monroe said, in other words, told her, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I made a choice today. I made a choice to praise you. 
Oh, it's my desire to worship you, God. I made the choice to honor your name. Thank you, Jesus. Make a choice. Come on, church. Come on, church. Make a choice tonight. Make a choice to follow him. Make a choice to worship him. Make a choice to live for him. I know you're going through a lot. I know you're dealing with a lot, but make a choice to praise him. When every morning that you wake up, make a choice that my day is going to be full of praise. My day is going to be full of joy. My day is going to be full of hope. My day is going to be full of understanding. I make a choice to live on the bright side. I make a choice to live on the right side. Make a choice today, church. Make a choice. Glory to God. Oh, make a choice. Toda is our sacrifice, our offering that tells God we want it. Thank you. Woo, glory. When you praise God, you are telling God you want him. Ooh, you are telling God that you want him and you are willing to make an effort to be with him. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I want God. Hallelujah. I want God in my life. I want God in my family. I want God on my job. I want God in my relationships. And I truly want God in this church. I, I want God. I, 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 I see glory to God. Hallelujah. Anybody want God tonight? Anybody, somebody just holler. Somebody just holler out wherever you are. I want God. Type it on the screen. I want God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. God, I thank you that when you hear my praise, that's, that's a sign that you know that I want you in my life. Hallelujah. God, when you hear my hallelujah, that's a sign that you know that I need you and I want you to be wherever I am. God, thank you for hearing me. Thank you for knowing my heart. Thank you for knowing exactly what I need. I want God and I want son of Glory to God. I want God. Ooh, let me get through this. I want God. Hallelujah. I want God. 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 And I'm going to make an effort to be with him. I'm going after what I want. Thank you. I want him and I'm going after it. Hallelujah. I'm chasing after him. Glory to God. Because I need him more and more in my life. I want God. Glory to God. I want him. I want him. I need him in my life. I want God and I'm going after him. Come on. Somebody go with me tonight. Somebody go with me tonight. Come on. Come on. Somebody go with me tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody go with me tonight. It's in the presence of God. I, I want to see what it got for me. I want to see his hand. I want to see his face. I, I want to feel his presence. I need God in my life. I want him. I'm making an effort. I'm going after him. I'm going after him. I'm praising him. I'm giving him glory. I want God. Let's go after him tonight. Ooh, glory to God. Let's go after him tonight. Glory to God. Peace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Ooh, glory to God. I want God. I want God. I want God. I want God. The next one, we're going to try to get through this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next one, we went, move from Toda to Yada. Yada means to confess or to praise God. <laughs> so this, this is... It's the second dimension of praise. Not surprisingly, has some of our has some of the same meanings as toda. Literally, yada means to use or hold out the hand, or to physically throw a stone or an arrow away from something. In the scriptures, it refers refers prim primarily to extending the hands in reverence to worship. You're reverencing who you are worshiping. So you, you, you're honoring that being. You're honoring that thing. Thus, yada is a dimension of praise where you begin to take control over your body and your mind. Praise is when, when we praise God and we truly reverence God and we truly worship him. We, 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 we take control of ourselves and put it in the place of worship. Too often when we come into the presence of God, when we come into church, we come in somewhere in a building, in a service, even outside, because we're outside until God tells us to come inside. Amen. And, and, and we, we, we allow all the surrounding things to take over. 
everything that's going on around us inside of us. But in worship, glory to God, in yada, in worship, we take over our mind, we take over our body, and we, we, we command it to praise the Lord. We command it to get into a place where we are focusing on God. Let's take control. Let's get our control back. Hallelujah. Glory, let's get our control back. Glory to God. It's when we yard eyes, when we extend our hands. When we extend our hands. Who glory to God. Hallelujah. And it says, one thing he says about Yada, he says, not surprisingly, this praise is public. It's also accompanied by man's recognition of his unworthiness to receive all of God's benefits. So when you take control, you truly realize who you are. And you can truly realize that who God is. You're just so overtaken that you realize that I'm not worthy of all this. Like this, this man, this, this, he really loves me this much that he's given me all of this. Even though who I am, I know me. I'm not worthy of all this, but God still blesses me. Glory to God. So that's why I praise him. That's why I extend my hands. I honor him. I worship him. I yada God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's move on. And then the halal. That's to praise God. That's the third dimension of praise. It is derived from the primitive root that means to, means among things to be clear, to shine, to make a show, to boast, to, to, to be foolish or to rave. It says, since halal is also translated insane or fools or foolish, it suggests a sense of foolishness, foolishness or abandonment in praise. Therefore, some people won't praise God with a halal because they are too dignified. They refuse to look even a little bit foolish in their celebration of God. So this is like when people really forget where they are and they dance or they wherever way they praise God. This is a halal praise. This is a this is the place of praise where you don't care who's around you. Glory to God. So that's why the pro the progression is when you take over with our with our with our yada when we take over your yourself when you take over and you you push out everything that's around you you can truly give God a halal praise because you don't care who's looking you don't care what they say because you know it's not about them it's about you showing God that you want him glory to God it's showing God that you're making an effort to be where he is and then when I think about this I'm thinking about David when he talks about first Samuel 21 13 it says when David he pretended to be insane in their presence while he was in their hands he acted like a madman making marks on the doors of the gate and letting saliva run down his beard that was when he was trying to be uh, he was trying to get out of the captivity of the king of Gath and then they were they were, and they really knew who David was they, they probably would have killed him because Gath was of Goliath's hometown and so they were mad because David had could kill their champion David had killed uh, because David had exposed just how weak they were. So if you truly know about the story, because if you can never find in the Bible a record of Goliath fighting anybody, just because he was big, just because he was tall, just because he was supposed to be this strong man, that, that kept him from fighting a whole lot of people because if he stood up in front, those on the other side would run away. But on that day, the, the, he, he, he messed around. He, 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 he came upon a man after God's own heart. He came upon a man full of praise. He came upon a man full of worship. And I've come to tell you, once you fill yourself up with that, there's a whole lot of giants that are going to run away from little old you. Hey, glory to God. There's a whole lot of things that are bigger than you that's going to run away from you. Why? Because they know what's on the inside of you, and it might be insane to some. It might be crazy to others, but you've got to know who you are. You've got to know the power on the inside of you, and so sometimes when you act a certain way, people think you are crazy, but you are really giving God the praise. You are really giving God the glory, and so that's when we do a, a loud praise. It's loud. It's, it's untraditional. It's unorthodox. It might be a little crazy. That's what we, because we're making a big deal about God. I don't know about you, but I'm going to make a big deal about him tonight because he's good to me. So I'm going to make a big deal. Whatever I got to do, like David told his wife, Michael, she said how he was so undignified. He said, well, I'm going to be even more undignified than this because you don't know what it took. Glory to God to get to the place that I am right now. That's how I'll praise. 
It's a, it, 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 that's a crazy praise. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm a crazy praise. Hallelujah. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you look. I'm going to give God everything I got because I want God to know that I want him. And I'm making an effort to be with him. So we got the Todah. We got Yada. We got the Halal. Then we got the Shabbat. That's the fourth dimension of praise. It means to address in a loud voice. So that means when I shout, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! That's a Shabbat. Hallelujah. Glory! When somebody just holler out, that's a Shabbat. It's in a loud voice. That's to let everybody know. Hallelujah. That's to let the enemy know that I got the victory. Hallelujah. With the voice of triumph. That's to let the devil know that I won this time. Hallelujah. He lost again. Glory to God. Whoo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. He says in the book, I wonder what would happen in our churches, in our homes, if we would truly glorify the Lord with a voice of triumph. Some churches are so quiet and dignified that Shabbat would no doubt shake them up. But that, that's not Cedar Creek because we do some Shabbat in here. Everybody might not do it, but some of us do it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So when we address the Lord with a loud voice of triumph, we commend him for his character and nature and command him to fulfill all he has said and he will do. We approach him with Shabbat because we want him to respond to our need. And when I was studying this earlier, uh, God brought to me how when you go to a game and you got children or you go to their performance or anything uh, and, and how you're cheering your kids on and when they do well, you be like, that's my girl. That's my boy because you want everybody around you to know that's your child. You want because what they have doing and the, how, how they're shining in their performances and their athleticism, you want everybody to know that's your child. But I've come to tell you that's the same type of attitude we need with God. We need to be telling people, that's my God. That's my Savior. That's my healer. That's my King. We got to make a big deal. We got to brag and let the whole world know you got to be real loud. That's my God. That's my Savior. That's my Lord. And that's my King. That's our Shabbat. We got two more. We got Zamar. Barak and Tehillah. And I, I'm going to get to those next week. I'm, I'm going to get to those next week because I don't want to drag this out too long. I don't want to drag this out too long. We got we went over Toda, Yada, Halal, and Shabbat. And we'll go over Zamar, Barak, and Tehillah next week. We'll go over those next week. So I, um, join us. So I'm going to have to split this up. I thought I was going to be able to get through all of it tonight, but the Holy Ghost came in that one part that, that, that I want God, it, it just took me to another place. And I, I truly want us, glory to God, to want God. I, I, if, if we don't want nothing else, I want us to want God. Glory to God. I want us to want God. Hallelujah. With this last scripture in there, I'm going to pray and we're going to go. It says, Psalms 42 and 1, it says, As the deer pants for flowing streams of water, so does my soul long for God. I, I love God. I want him. We need water to live, but I need God to live also. So that, that's what... That's where, that's where I am right now. I want him. I want him real bad. I need him real bad. So my praise is going to help me get there. That's the song that says, As the deer panted for the water of my soul, long and to be you alone of my heart. Desire as I long to worship thee. As the deer plentiful, the water of my soul longing after thee. Desire and I long to worship thee. It says, You alone are my strength and she. To you alone does my spirit eat. You Alone are my heart's 
desire and I long to worship thee and I long to worship hallelujah thee and I long to worship thee Lord I want you and I long to, uh, to worship the air. Yeah. Oh, and I long to worship uh, thee, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want you tonight. We want you, God. So we praise you because we need you. We praise you because we want you to come. We want you tonight, God. That's our prayer tonight, God. We want you. We're making an effort to be with you because we know the power of who you are, the might of who you are, the strength of who you are. We want you tonight. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the spirit to want you. Thank you that our praise takes us to a place where we can meet you. Our praise takes us to a place where we can see you, where we can experience you. We want you tonight, God. We bless you and we praise you. Give us yourself, God. Reveal yourself to us tonight. Come through, Holy Spirit. We long for you. We praise you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray that as we leave, you will go to a spirit of worship, find you some worship music tonight, and just show God just how much you want him. Hallelujah. Just show God just how much you want him. I love you. Hope to see you Sunday out here in the parking lot at 1130. I hope to see you soon. I love you. Want God tonight. You want him for real. And do everything you can to get him. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. I love you. Good night. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I long to worship thee. And I long to 